In terms of the scout, it is one of the better price figures out there. In fact, because I could not find the mode lines initially. Hello and welcome back to Exco Garnier Blog and Photography. Today, you are looking at my third consecutive FGO price figure review. I have five of them awaiting review back then. This is the third one. This time around, featuring for Real's Noodle Stopper series, Yang Gui Fei, a foreigner class servant from Fit Grand Order. This is a much larger price figure compared to the two recent one I reviewed from Sega, which are also Noodle Stopper style figures, Sanjang and Badivia. Those two were so small and lacking in details, they were Figma sized, but this one over here is a whole 5cm taller. So, Bediville and Sanjang were 12cm head height, this one is 17cm head height. Including her instrument, it will be over 20 Yeah. So, figure companies will probably quote this figure as over 20cm tall, but that is not the head height, right? Okay, before I move on to the figure, this is what the box looks like. Very nice in fact, and a way larger box than the other two price figures I reviewed recently. This is a noodle stopper style figure, which means no base is included and she can't stand on her own, so you need to look for somewhere suitable to place the figure on. Which also means, yes, this, fig this table right here, this desk, does not come with the figure, it is something I quickly 3D printed on my own to go with the figure. Not the highest quality print, but it will suffice for a price figure. Also, in comparison to the two previous price figures I reviewed, this one is a much higher quality price figure and I believe that is made possible simply because the figure is larger. In terms of the sculpt, it is one of the better price figures out there in fact because I could not find the mold lines initially. With most price figures, the mold lines on the side are quite obvious, you can see it with your own naked eyes, but with this figure, you won't notice it until you get very close to the figure. I mean, I had to rely on the macro lens to show you guys that the lines are right there, the seam lines are there. So this figure is very well refined for the standards of a price figure. Even on the paint job, most of the figure's dress are nicely done, the hair as well, but I did find one major flaw on the back of her shoe over here. Now, the one on her right leg, her right shoe is fine, but the left shoe, you can see a huge chunk of missing white paint. So it looks like the paint has peeled off or something. It did not adhere to the plastic beneath it properly. Adhesion problem. So there is one major flaw over there, but most of the time you don't notice it because it is at the back of the figure. Since this is a price figure, you can also expect to see a lot of seam lines which is true for her hair especially at the back. You can see her hair being joined from several separate parts. Which is not surprising because to produce one single mold for the entire hair strand that is very expensive. Another quality control issue that I was fairly annoyed by is how the figure does not sit flat on any surface, which you can see it over here. I can easily slide a metal bracket underneath her left arm and hair. If you are interested in knowing the exact height from her sitting position to the end of her feet over here, in case you want the figure's foot to touch the floor, that is 7.7 centimeters. But you will do fine with 7.5 or 8 centimeters tall for the table over here. The traditional musical instrument she is holding can be a bit tricky to get into place because of how small the pegs are on her right thumb and the back of her dress, but it is not impossible. The paint job on this specific part is perfectly okay as far as I can see. Overall, as a conclusion to this review, this is a very well made price figure. At least way better than the recent two I reviewed with Sanjang and Bedivia from Sega. But this is mostly can be contributed to her size. Despite the shortcomings of this figure, especially the lack of contact between her hair and left arm with the surface she is sitting on, which really annoys me to no end, 
this is a figure worthy of a purchase. Yes, so if you like this character or you like FGO Fit Grand Order in general, go out and get this figure. Unfortunately, there is no proper high quality scale figure of her yet at the moment, but an android of her is also coming. So I can expect perhaps in future she might get a scale figure treatment from one of the major figure companies out there. That is all for the review of this figure of Yang Guifei. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.